Hello everybody and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Today we have a, I guess they revised it, here, EMSC has it as a 4.9 in Southern California, but USGS has it as a, oh yeah they also have a, as a 4.9, okay. So yeah, 4.9 in Anza, California. Alright, you can see, here, let me go back a bit. This will see a seismographs reading. So, yeah, pretty good readings on theirs. And then you can see up here, all the raspberry shakes went dark, which means they felt shaken. Okay. So sub subscribe to our channel, by the way. They're really cool. I'll put their link in the description. Okay. Okay, let's pull this up on Google Earth and see. There goes the globe. I'm not going to close it this time. Actually, yeah. I am. Never mind. So I'm pretty yeah, this has occurred on the San Jacinto fault probably. Yep. San Jacinto fault and the section. Not too far from our seismometers. I think it's like 30, 40 miles. Probably forty. Yeah, forty two miles away. So not too far. If you look here on Infotech. Okay. Oh. Whoops, that was a stream. Okay. Infill deck, there we go. So you can see here, this was a three, here let me look on my earth, earthquake app phone. My, f er, f my phone's earthquake app, sorry, can't talk today. Yeah, this I believe was a 3.7. And then back here, there have been tons of aftershocks. I think there's like 13 now. This was the actual shaking. So here you can see a Menifee and Camarillo down here. And then Mammoth also had off the chart readings so that obviously means it's a massive quake okay and let's see the raspberry shake you can see here massive it might be really slow sorry about that massive readings you can see look here it's slow again this is a p wave flat line p wave s wave gosh why is this thing being so slow and you can see Okay, so that was a pretty decent quake, and then I believe this was a 3.6 aftershock, pretty small. Yeah, but let me go like this. Okay, kind of noticeable. Then right here, uh, I think this was like a 2.9 aftershock, and another 2.8. Then they keep on going, you can see here, 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 here here and then this was a 3.7 aftershock where you can see earthmaster i'll put his link in the channel too also made his video and not sure if any are here i'm not sure why the data hasn't loaded and this is going to be really slow but i'm going to make it load just in case there was another quake I wonder what those readings are. Doesn't seem like there's anything. Oh. Yeah, there's one right here. I'm just, wait, P wave, S wave, and I think another P wave, S wave. Alright. So yeah, a 4.9 a 4.9 earthquake, a 3.6, and a 3.7. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys have a good day and night. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't already. And stay safe. Be ready for an, for a quake that can happen at any time. For instance, for instance, like this. Wasn't expecting it, to be honest. And also, stay inside. Self-isolate for you know what's going on. And I'll put a link to CDC's... What's it called? I can't think of the name of the link their virus protection website i'll put it as that okay and i hope and i will see you guys again in the next video